So let's dive into the world of cutting and trimming footage in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna discuss some basic tool that you need to know to create your first YouTube video. And the first edit tool is the selection tool. Right up here, you have the selection tool. It's used for selecting, moving, and adjusting clips in your timeline. You also see a shortcut when you hover over the tool, you see selection mode A. So if you hit A on your keyboard, you will select this selection tool. With this selection tool, you can grab a clip and you can change the position of the clip. Next up, we have the razor tool. It's perfect for making precise cuts in the timeline. So right here, you see the razor tool, or also known as the blade edit mode. You also see a shortcut, it's B. If you hit B, you see it jumps automatically to the razor tool. If I hit A, you are back in the selection tool. If I hit B, you are in the razor tool. And with this razor tool, you can make cuts in your edit. So let's say somewhere here, I want to make a cut and I just want to delete, delete this part where I don't say anything. And I can see this because I don't see any waveforms between these two waveforms. So I'm gonna grab this line, bring it all the way where I want to make that cut. I'm going to zoom in because I want to work really precise. Make this a little bit bigger. And right here, I'm gonna make this cut. Then I'm gonna zoom out. And right here, I'm gonna make this cut again. So you can make many cuts with the razor tool. It's for cutting. So let's go back to the selection tool, hit A on our keyboard, and we're back in our selection tool and we can start to select clips. So let's say we want to delete this part of the video clip. So there are a couple of ways to do it. The first way is to select the video clip and click on your right and hit cut. So you are basically going to delete it. Another way to delete your video clip is the ripple cut method. And this is very useful if you want to edit very fast. Let's say that we want to delete this video clip. You just click on your right and go to ripple cut. And now you see the gap is closed. You also have a shortcut for that on your uh, keyboard. So if you click on your right, you see ripple cut is control shift X. So let's do that. Let's do it again. Let's do it once again. And you can even do that right here and it will close that gap. Let's say I want to delete all of these clips and close the gap, just simply hit ripple cut and it close the gap. Now we go to the trim edit mode. Your friend for on the fly adjustments to clip in and out points. What do I mean with this? We already selected an end point and an out point of this clip, but it can always happen that I'm not satisfying with the end of the clip and I want this part to trim to the left. So I just simply hover over my video clip until I see this icon and grab the clip and drag it all the way to the red line. So now I trimmed the end of the clip. I can do the same for the left part of the clip, somewhere here. Go to the end of the clip until I see this icon, grab the clip and trim it until the red line. Now I can grab the clip and close it to the other clip. Then we have another trim function and that is this trim edit mode. And this can be very useful if you want to see both sides of the edit. So what do I mean with this? So we're gonna select this tool and then we're gonna grab these two clips. And now you see on the left corner, you see the end point of the left clip. So the end point of this clip and you see the begin of the middle clip. So if I trim this to the right, I make this clip longer and the begin clip of this clip shorter. So now let's drag it to the right. And I can see the end and the begin very precise. And boom, pretty cool. I can do that also here. Yeah, that's a good one. 
All right, so the next tool I want to show you is this snap tool. So if you hit this snap tool, you gonna see and recognize when you drag this clip next to this clip, it will automatically snap into the begin of this clip. So let me show you, snap. And this can be really helpful if you want to snap it, for example, between these clips. It snaps very easy. And yeah, this is just really a good way to work really fast. But it can also be very annoying if you want to work like very precise on your timeline. So let's say you want to move this clip just one uh, second to the right. You cannot do that with the snap tool. So I will show you, let's zoom all the way in. So if I want to uh, snap it one frame to the right, I'm not able to do that. You see that? It will take three or even five frames. But if I disconnect this tool, the snapping tool, you click on it or you hit N on your keyboard. Now I can really work precise and move it one frame at a time to the right. This is pretty cool. All right, so let me explain these three icons because now we are fully zoomed in into the timeline. And let's say we want to zoom halfway out. We click on the middle one and now you see we zoomed halfway out. If we want to zoom out even more, we click on this one and now we see everything on the timeline. Okay, so what do these icons mean? You have video track layer one and basically that is the track of your YouTube video then you have video track number two, video track number three, and video track number four. Now I am on video track number two, and you have some options up here. Because let's say I don't want to see this video, I can click on disable video track, so it will disable all the clips on video track two. So now you only see my YouTube video. Enable it again and you see these clips again. You can do the same for video track three and four. So let's move it all the way to four and let's disable it. And now if you want to create a new video track, you just simply drag this video file all the way up and look what happens here. You created a video track five. If you want to create a video track six, Watch what happens here, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, as many as you want. Then we see these little lock tracks. So what do they mean? If I hit lock the track, you are not able to put something in this track because it's locked. So if I unlock it, you will see I'm able to put this video in this track. The same is for your audio clips. Now, if you want to move down, you see it's linked. So we want to unlink it. And now if we move the audio clip down, you create a new audio clip, audio clip number four, audio five, or even audio six. But let's put it back to audio track one. Here you see also the lock mode. It's the same function as the video mode. It will lock the track, so you're not able to change any settings in there. 